really hit home when we lost last year because every time we lose I'm always asking myself what more could I have done I look at myself as a leader a leader of the team and, you know I know a lot of times our team is only going to go as far as, uh, as myself D West and some of, the, uh, some of the other guys that take it so that's something that I keep in the back of my mind doing all these workouts we work at game speed with everything that we do we don't waste any any movements at all we try to eliminate all inefficiencies from his life from his game. Everything we've done all summer up until now has been about injury prevention, correcting biomechanical issues and weaknesses that he has in his body on an effort to eliminate injury and prolong his career and his ability to make things happen every day on the court. Come at me, come at me, come at me, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. push me forward. Um, as training camp gets closer, we're just trying to pick up the intensity of the workouts and sort of streamline the workouts to make him sort of mimic more game speed and the intensity of game speed. So today it was um, a lot of stuff sort of uh, uh, off the dribble, catch and shoot, but incorporating that game speed, adding some ball handling and adding some conditioning to it as well. Seven, six, five, under, under. Under, under, he, his intensity is, you know, immeasurable. It's like a little storm cloud. He just gathers, you know, energy with other players and other guys and brings them on the court. And we have, you know, some, some crazy intensity going. We still got a bitter taste in our mouth from last year. And I think that's been our motivator. That's been his motivator. And, uh, you know, come June, you know, during the playoff time, we look at each other, we don't know that we... You know, like you said, we've been through the trenches. We've been through some battles, and, uh, and that's what it's all about. That's what that's how you build championship teams when you when you're doing when you're doing things that nobody else is doing. Ten, nine. I'd be lying if I was to say you don't see what they say on ESPN.com. You don't see what they say about you know all the other teams and how you know we're we're going in the wrong direction. I think that's motivation. These guys don't need to be motivated. They're up. I mean, it's a crack of dawn. We're here at 6 a.m. Nobody gets up that early when they don't have to. You know, there's no mandate that says you have to get up and be here this early. But Chris is here at the crack of dawn. And we're here because we want to be playing in June. And guys who are playing in June put the time in now. It was a good workout. It's all the stuff we did today, today we only halfway done. But, uh, you know, I know how important it is, you know. Uh, I know it's going to pay off. The tiger. I'm really excited to see how our team accepts the challenge. You know, everyone still has to have that, that Denver uh, series in the back of our minds, and we should be the, the most hungry team in the NBA. I want to be playing in June. You know, as bad as it hurts, as bad as it burns right now, you know, it, it, it can all pay off in the end. For and I, I mean, I cannot wait. The season can't come soon enough.